Hello everybody! Welcome back to another delicious international taste test. Today we're going to be trying out the snacks and treats from Finland. Huge thank you to Iro and Terhi for sending us these treats and we're really looking forward to trying these out. This is part one because you sent us a lot of stuff so we had to divide this into two parts. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. So what's one? It's always beer. Thank you very much. Today's beer is Laga Premium from Kesari. The color is really beer. And the Kesari means emperor. And by the way, thank you for sending Satoshi two more beer. He's going to be trying out two more beers on the next part. So stay tuned for you all beer lovers out there. So would you like to have one? I, I, I have a tiny little sip. Tiny, tiny little sip, yeah. All right, cheers, everybody. Thank you very much, Tia and Elhi. All right, come by. Ooh, ooh, tastes ooh. like beer. This is very refreshing and light taste, but it has a depth and the, the taste is malt. I think it's malt, but for me, it's like Japanese miso. A miso. Bit of fermented taste. Fermented taste. Wow, miso flavored beer. Never heard that before. But it's not in a bad way. Mm. It's a good way. Oh, interesting. Mm. Okay, moving on and starting off with the first snack. This is Royce Nacho. And please forgive me for my pronunciation because I do not speak Finnish. Uh, so this is sesame and sea salt nacho chips. And this is 100% whole grain. There are no preservatives added and lots of fiber. So it's like a healthy type of, mm -hmm. uh, not Doritos, but mm -hmm. a tortilla chips. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and this is the brand is named Vasan. Vasan. Oh, sounds like Vasan, which means grandma in Japanese. Y you can definitely tell that this is healthy because the color is different. It looks, mm -hmm. def it definitely looks like whole grain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whole grain color. And it there are so many sesame seeds on surface. Yes, and I can also see the salt crystals as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. All right, let's give it a go. Thank you, Mas. Oh, mm. okay. Mm. Definitely not tortilla chips. Very healthy taste. <laughs> Which means <laughs> the taste is very more. natural. Because mm, mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of times, you know, when people say it's healthy taste, it usually means it doesn't taste good. The salt is very subtle, so it's good. The next one is. Potato chips. On the back, oh, there is an English explanation. So could you read it? So this potato chip is inspired by the Finnish hot dog stand. Um, hot dog stand? Yeah, the classic mm. flavors of the Finnish hot dog. And this includes mustard, ketchup, cucumber relish, and onion flavor. It's just like a hot dog. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> cucumber relish is very rare. It's unusual because you don't usually put cucumbers on a hot dog in America, do you? But then relish is made of pickles, which are made of cucumbers. So I guess it makes sense. So these are kind of like Ruffles chips. They are ridged and um, they look delicious. Mm. You can definitely see the spices, oh, spices on the surface. On the surface. Mm. Mm. And orange cutter. Smells like barbecue. I don't know why, it smells like barbecue to me. Oh, mm. that is delicious. Mmm. I definitely taste the mustard. It's like a sweet mustard. I can definitely taste the spices in here. Mm. Onion, definitely. Definitely mustard, like I said. And even like a relish thing. I think the sweetness comes from the cucumber relish. You know, because relish is kind of sweet. Very, very well-balanced potato chips. I love how crispy these are, and I love how flavorful they are. It's hot dog popular in Finland. I want to visit Finland to eat this hot dog. Oh, me too. <laughs> me too. But you know, I mean, hot dog is good. I mean, mm. I love hot dogs. Mm. You know, a long time ago, I never used to eat hot dogs or sausages. I never did. But you know, when I was younger, I wasn't really a foodie. Nowadays, sausages make me happy. All right, now we got something that's more like a meal. And this is a traditional salmon soup. Doesn't that sound delicious? Doesn't that sound... Interesting. Salmon soup. It sounds, salmon soup. you know, pretty Salmon soup. It, salmon soup. It sounds pretty normal, but I've actually never had salmon soup. I, I thought so. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Salmon soup. Mm hmm. Salmon soup. But, oh, have I tried <laughs> <have I> it? <laughs> right, yeah. So, this is interesting because this, this package 
is um, the salmon soup um, ready made and all you have to do is heat it in a pot or a microwave so we heated it up in our pot and this is what it looks like and it looks absolutely delicious mm -hmm. it looks homemade to mm -hmm. me yeah it looks like from you know visually it looks like there are like chunks of potatoes and I definitely do see some uh, pieces of salmon in there all right so itadakimasu Oh, mm. mm. I can definitely taste mm. the flavor of the dill, mm -hmm. and which salmon. is dill, and salmon. Mm -hmm. I also see carrots in here. The soup is um like a creamy, creamy. type of soup, mm. but it's not super thick and it's mm. not overly rich. Mm. Now go on to the sweet stuff. The first sweet is named Kismet from Watsel. It's I think it's the 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 picture says it is chocolate, but. Some kind of wafers. Yeah. wafers. I think it is a wafer. FYI, Fatser is one of the most famous chocolate brands in Finland. They've been in business for a very long time and is loved by all Finnish people. That That's what I found out on Google. Ooh, very light. Very light? Mm, very light chocolate. Yes, okay. it is wafers. Wafer. Mm. Well, you like wafer. I love wafers. I love wafers. I love any kind of wafers. <gasps> Mmm, mmm, nice milk chocolate way for us to sakut the flavor. Mm -hmm. mm. This is actually really mm. good, guys. <laughs> and it's really good. The wafers are not dry because sometimes, I don't know why, I've encountered some dry tasting wafers. This one is moist yet retains that crisp, no mm. staleness whatsoever. And like you said, the milk chocolate is smooth. Mm. The next one we have is called Geisha. And this is geisha? milk chocolate, yes. And geisha? this is... Yes, yes, Geisha. What does Geisha mean in Finland? I think Geisha means Geisha. Oh, Japanese Geisha? I'm pretty sure. So it means it, it's Japanese, Japan. <laughs> it's Japanese Geisha. Yeah, <laughs> like believe me when I say it is. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, unless Geisha means something else in Finnish, if if it does, please let us in the comments below. <laughs> mm. I mean, there's that. I I really like that hazelnut filling inside. Mm. Yeah, 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 hazelnut. Mm. This is sweeter than the the previous way fast one. You think so? I think so. I think it's exactly the same. Really? Yeah, like the sweetness. Because this one, the reason why I hesitated after I took a bite, it's not that sweet. I was expecting it to be sweeter. It is not that sweet. I could probably finish this bar in one sitting. Super, super easy. The next one is from same company, Fatzel, named Jim. Jim. Okay. Jim. Why didn't they name it <laughs> Tom instead? Why Jim? Why not Tom or... John or Steven for that matter. I can make chocolate named Shinichi. Hmm, that's a great idea. Okay, let's open. Hmm. It's a one one bar of chocolate. Break it in half. Oh, the inside is white. It's white, yeah. I wonder mm. if it's like marshmallow. Hmm. Ah right. marshmallow. Oh mm. Mm. tastes like lemonade. <laughs> Lemonade, the Japanese soda. <laughs> kind of. It's kind of sour. Like sour. What? Where's that sourness coming from? It's definitely marshmallowy. It has like mm. a marshmallow texture. Mm. It, the taste is like bubble gum of lamine. Really? <laughs> mm. I well, like this. Yeah. Lamine bubble gum is my, was my favorite when I was a child. I mm see. -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this one is called Patkis. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, on the inside, it's airy, like an airy ah, type of chocolate. Airy type of chocolate. And I think this is a mint chocolate truffle bar. Mmm, mint, mint, mint. Mmm, mm. mint, mint. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is delicious. Mmm. Mm. I love mint chocolate. Recently, in Japan, it's very popular. The mint chocolate is very popular now. It really is. I mean, they, they're coming up with all sorts of mint chocolate things. They have mint chocolate chip ice cream, of course. Mint chocolate chip melon pan, mint chocolate dorayaki. Um, really? <laughs> yes, they have like mint chocolate everything. What's going on, Japan? But anyway, coming back to this, this is actually very, very delicious. Mm -hmm. And I love this. I, I love the refreshing taste of mint chocolate. I know you're not a huge fan of mint chocolate, mm -hmm. but I am. I always get it when I go to the mm -hmm. ice cream shop. Mm -hmm. Love mint chocolate. Mm -hmm. I never buy mint chocolate at the ice cream shop. Do not. Here we go. It is my turn. Yes. 
Is this my turn? It sure is. So, Iro and Terihi, do you enjoy seeing me suffer? <laughs> right. It looks like <laughs> licorice. I think it is licorice. But you know, let's give it a shot. Can you open it while I talk? Let's give it a shot because this is the Halva licorice bar and they say this is the Finnish style. So it's sweet and soft. So maybe it might be delicious and maybe it might convert you to a licorice lover. Who knows? I doubt it. But who knows? Hmm, smells like licorice. Hmm. <laughs> I'm amazed at how soft this is. It's actually very pleasant because it's very soft. And this isn't too, no, 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 try it. It's not bad. You know, I, 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 even I get scared sometimes because sometimes you get like these extreme licorice, you know, like really salty or super ammonia. But this one's actually pretty mild. It's like a mild black licorice. It's not bad at all. I actually like this. Mm, mm, mm. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Let's go on to the next. No, you gotta eat it. <laughs> eat it. Oh, such a small piece. Such a small piece. How about that? <laughs> next, we have a gigantic, humongous chocolate bar. And this is simply their milk chocolate from mm. that same company. Mm. And it says they've been in business since 1891. So that's a very long time. Wow. Mm. Yeah. And it's a beautiful chocolate bar. Oh, Here oh you go. wow. You get one square of chocolate wow. each. Mmm. Mm. 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 After licorice, it doesn't taste good. I have to cleanse my palate. <laughs> this chocolate, this milk chocolate is very smooth, which I like. It's not gritty. And once again, compared to chocolate from other countries like the UK, you know, for example, the like Cadbury chocolate, this is not that sweet. I don't feel that this is super sweet. Now yeah. my palate has been fixed, so I can eat now. Okay. <laughs> How did you fix it? I drank beer. <laughs> <laughs> this milk chocolate is very rich, nice chocolatey, but rich milk flavor. Mm. Mm. It's the, like royal milk chocolatey. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm drunk. Okay. The last one is from same company named Mignon. Mignon. Mm. Or maybe if it's French, it's Mignon. French? <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I'm thinking filet mignon. <laughs> <laughs> I think I it's Mignon. Know. You think it's Mignon? Mm -hmm. Okay, please let us know, guys. Which is it, Mignon or Mignon? We want to know. And this is very interesting. Uh, the finest almond and nut nougat in a real eggshell. Real eggshell. Real eggshell. What? What? Real eggshell. Okay. Huh? All right, give How? it to me. Give it to me. How? Let's check it out. Wow! Look at that. Feel it. It's like a real eggshell. I mean, it is a real eggshell. I mean, according to their packaging. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? It's egg! It's an egg. But they do that's have like really a little good. opening on the bottom. Ah. So maybe that's how they got something inside. Ah, I see. All right, so, uh, we're, so let's peel the egg, shall we? It's, it's very hard. What? I have to crack it like this. Oh goodness, I have to crack it. Like, like a, a real boiled egg. egg. Whoa! Oh, Look at that! Black. Black egg. Black egg. It's like <laughs> what an ingenious idea. Although it's actually quite difficult to crack <laughs> and peel. Okay, so here it is, the peeled chocolate. Let me take a bite and see if there's anything on the inside. This is so strange. I feel like I'm eating a like a black egg. Hmm? What's inside? <laughs> nothing. There's nothing on the inside. That, is that the taste nougat? Mm. I don't know. I really don't know. For me, it tastes like um, like a hazelnut. Mm, 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 mm. Hazelnut. Yeah. Mm. Chocolate. It, it tastes like, like Nutella. <laughs> yes. 
It's, it's like a solid Nutella. <laughs> right, right, in egg form.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Interesting. And you know, I, I, I don't know, Satoshi. I mean, you know, I've been saying this throughout the whole taste test, but I feel like this is not that sweet.、Mm-hmm. Is it sweet to you?、Uh, um, just right for me. Just right?、Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel, it's like a Japanese sweet. No, I feel like this is less sweet than Japanese. Really?、Sweet. Yeah, it's very not that sweet. It's not that sugary. I don't get that sugar that remains in your mouth afterwards. Because a lot of chocolate is sweet, like to the point where it, you feel like you're gonna get a cavity. But、um, no, this is like not sweet at all for me. For me,、mm-hmm. it's very comfortable. This sweetness is very comfortable. Yeah, it's comfortable.、Mm. But you know, that's probably because you are more of a savory person, right? <laughs> not savory person. I'm a beer person. <laughs> I stand corrected. All right, so which one was your favorite? This soup. Salmon soup. Salmon soup.、Oh. This traditional salmon soup. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. This is very good. It really is.、Mm. It really, really is. Which is why I choose the exact same thing.、Mm. Once again, thank you to Iro and Terry for sending us these snacks and treats. We really had a great time. Part two will be coming up very shortly, so stay tuned for that one.、Uh, and for the rest of you, thanks for watching. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to check out all our other videos in this playlist. And until next time, take care and happy eating. Bye bye. Bye bye.